What's up, guys? Hello. Turn the chat around so I can actually see. I've got I've got a mag. Looks like we've got levels over there. Atari. Michael, smart Alec. Very smart today. Alec, do you dress in a suit and tie all the time? That's what I want to know. Are you smart because you're just so clever? Or do you dress like, you know, you go to bed, tie's done, D maybe a dicky bow tie. Give me my mouse so I can uh, see you guys. Show Red Club, hello Robert, what's happening? Hey, thanks for joining. Um, if you, <laughs> hey troll, how are you doing mate? Are you good? Let's get a little closer. Uh, if you played an E flat, you wouldn't have a cold in the first place. Um, yeah, it looks like, uh, like, like the conversation's already started. Started early. Yes, my favorite channel. Hey Clam, good to see you mate. Joey, yeah, we're working on hoodies, mate. We're working on hoodies and other things, but uh, priorities. Um, so yeah, um, not a huge live stream today. You know, play a couple of tracks, go over the solo challenge. Hey, look who it is, Steve. I was on Steve's uh, live stream. Was it last night? Feels like a few days ago, but I, I guess it was last night because um, I was making some chicken in the kitchen, Steve, and I had your stream on the entire time. Very good, uh, guys. If you like guitar content, check out this channel right here. This channel. Give him a click. Very fun, very fun, very cool. Ah, oh, man. Uh, new subscriber, I love these. Coming back to guitar playing after not playing after eight years. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's 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 kind of difficult taking a, I mean, I took like a 20 year break from guitar and it's uh, the first six months. Whew, those fingers were rusty. Fingers were rusty, but uh, you know, all good in the end, hopefully. Uh, hello Thomas, greetings from Canada. Oh, hi. Welcome. And uh, yeah, hi Robert. Um, Chicken in the Kitchen, that's a good name for a song. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Hey Mark. So, School McGrock members, um, I guess a lot of you are already on Discord. You already know the deal. You know the score. You know that we've launched a brand new solo challenge. Uh, hi Danny. And, um, well, I, um, I, can, I can show you a little bit about this, actually, um, because I need to grab a guitar and I'll tune it up. So whilst I'm doing that, which will take me about 35 to 40 seconds, I'll play you the intro. Um, so School of McGrock, um, that's my online platform for guitar lessons. Many of you know that. Many of you are already members on that. Um, but if you want to get involved in this next solo challenge, it is for School of McGrock members. And I've just opened it up to YouTube channel members as well. So there's two separate audiences that can get involved. It's not a full public thing because when I've done those in the past, there ends up, there there ends up, there ends up, there ends up, that's a new word right there. Basically, like hundreds of entries become so un unimaginably difficult to manage. It, it just becomes a, an absolute chaos fest. Uh, so it's kind of Skull McGrock and YouTube channel members, but so you can hear uh, a little bit more. I'll play the School of McGrock trailer that went up. Obviously, the full lessons on School of McGrock that breaks the lesson down, gives you all the tips, gives you all the insights of like my favorite places to play and things that I think that might complement that uh, lick as well. But uh, like I say, I'll grab a guitar and then um, you can check out. Um, I think I saved a button here for that, maybe. Did I do that? Here we go. Hey, what's up? It's Thomas and welcome back to a School of McGrock lesson like none other because this is the launch of the Locked In Solo Challenge. On this lesson, I'm gonna break down the lick that needs to be featured as part of your solo. And it's a big lick, it's a big stretchy lick, it's got sweeping, it's got sliding, it's got hammer-ons, position shifts, the whole nine yards. So I'm gonna break that lick down in its entirety. That's gonna give you the advantage when it comes to your solo entry. Now there's also plenty of space for you to jam and to improvise over this backing track to really show me 
your personality as a guitarist. So this is the Locked In Solo Challenge and it begins right now. I'll see you on the inside. Let's go. There we go, so that's a little bit about the challenge. Um, there is a feature lick that you should play, but other than that, other than that, there's loads of space for you to improvise and to really get your personality across. And the idea is, is if this is um, something that you guys enjoy, which I, I think <laughs> D. Rich shows up the, the king of previous entries. <laughs> so no pressure, everyone. <laughs> oh, the timing. Um, yeah, if this is something fun, and, and it's meant to be fun. It's not meant to be like uber serious and stuff because I might do this like every month where we jump on a live stream, feature everyone's different entries, we play the feature lick and it's like a little bit of a challenge for you guys because then it's like, oh, okay, I, I've never tried to do this type of lick before. And then you get to blast on and do some of your own improv and stuff as well. So, you know, it could be fun is what I'm saying. Yeah. Hey, Chris. Hello, mate. Nice to see you. Uh, Pat, hello mate, lovely to see you too, yeah, and here he is, D. Rich, um, yeah, D. Rich, evening all, hope you have a lovely weekend, mate, have a great weekend, in the gym just now, oh yes, I was in the gym for a few hours earlier, yeah, that yeah, sounds fun indeed, have a, have a good couple of sets, D. Rich, so, um, these kind of keys keep me motivated, yeah, it's, it's all about, about trying different things as a guitarist and pushing yourselves, but I think this lick, it's it's not too crazy. It, it's, it's got some big stretches. It's got some different techniques. But I think if you've been playing a couple of years, it's a good lick to really kind of push your your boundaries a little bit. Hi, Mike. Mike, have you got a different profile picture? Look at that. Yeah, Arthur. Hello, mate. Look at that. Whew. Oh, Shrek Club, indeed. <laughs> Let me give myself some volume uh, in the room. So we'll, we'll jump back to the uh, the, the challenge uh, in a little bit. What I will do is I'll put the backing track on the Discord um, a little bit later. Uh, it's already available for School of McGrock members, so if you want to download that and get a, a head start. I uh, don't forget School of, Mo School of McGrock, you can take a two week, uh, 14 day free trial, and maybe jump in for the uh, the challenge and then see, see how you feel. So um, it's a fun lick, yes. <laughs> It's a fun lick, but it's gonna take me some time to play with a level of fluidity. Yeah, it's um, it's the stretches, and it's not really, really fast, but I guess it's the stretches and the position shifts uh, that make it particularly challenging. But I, I really like that lick. It's a lick that I I was, I first started playing maybe a couple of years back, and I just showed it on the Discord earlier. It's in the Boss SY1 video, um, but it's very, very fast in that video, so it's about half the speed in the challenge, so yeah. It's been a minute since I've been uh, on one of these. Hey, mate. Hello. Yes, how's, how's it going? I haven't tried it yet, but I will struggle with the lick. You know, I, I don't know if you will. I don't know if you, I don't know. You miss, we'll, we'll come back to it in a sec. It's on School of McGrock as well. Um, it's been a while, but the light has forced me to watch it. <laughs> oh, man. Cool. fingers warmed up um is the layer still on drop b uh, it actually is yeah Arrrr, and i've had that guitar quite a bit recently we've been really 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 busy with a lot of polychrome stuff so um yeah it's uh it's been a combination of the delos uh, which is right in front of me uh, the layer which is down in b and i've had the eight string out as well just trying some different things so that lights <laughs> lights him the shred nice oh it's handy though. Um, I've been seeing people saying you want to set your input volume on most of this to zero. Um, it, for, for the McRockland suite, let me just give you a quick overview. So for me, in my setup using da -da -da, Ableton Live, 
I have my gain set at what looks like fairly, like, I guess, Unity on the PreSonus interface. And right here, I'm using a preset called Let It Rip Son, and if I chug really hard, like, full, full-on chug, you can see how my input level just peeks into the red. But if I'm, like, soloing, As I pull the strings off the fretboard, you get to see like, you know, it's kind of mostly red and green, you know? But if, if you're playing like lead lines and stuff, and it's always in the red, then you just, yeah, you need to back the gain down because all of the presets is gonna be like out of line. They're gonna be out of line, you know? So um, I didn't catch that. Um, uh, on the um, audio interface, well, I have a presonus, so I just kind of have it set in the middle. And in the middle, it seems to... Thank you. In the middle, it seems to work with most in uh, mo most audio plugins. So it doesn't matter if it's like STL, Neural. If I'm testing some other stuff, do some head-to-head -head comparisons, make sure we're ahead of the game. Then that's how I have my game set, you know. So, hello, Joseph. I might just play a track, get my fingers going, because honestly, um, it is pretty nippy. It is pretty nippy, and uh, I don't know. Well, what's the first track that's up there? What have we got? Wasted is that? Why not? Give it a shot. Hey, Braxel. <laughs>
<laughs> looks like the man who loves his art. Um, yeah, well, I feel a little bit warmer. I'm just going to adjust my pedal board because um, I think this pedal board is located still when um, Hutch was here. And my Wawa was a little bit out of reach. Got to have the wah in reach, right? <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. A question, I was watching your McRocklin Sweet song breakdown. Uh, the guitar was, the guitar part was like, yeah. I, I record everything in mono. Yeah, the guitar, DI, mono, whoosh. And then if I use like wide in the McRocklin Suite or stereo effects, then it goes from obviously mono to stereo on the output. But the tone is so good, Mark. It is all one plugin, which is just this guy, the Polygram DSP McRocklin Suite. Oh, actually, you know what? We brought back the 20% off discount as well on, on live streams, so you can get 20% off. But yeah, this is what I use for all of the guitar tones, cleans, compressors, reverbs, delay, everything. All that single plugin. So the McRocklin Suite by Polychrome DSP. And uh, yeah, look at that. So yeah, use the code McRocklin20 uh, and you get 20% off. PolygramDSP.com. I've got to say though, my life has certainly been made a lot easier since switching over to just using a single plugin. Uh, you guys that's been on the streams when I used to stream like quite frequently, like three, four days a week, and the previous setup was a lot of hardware, a lot of pedals, a lot of software routing, uh, five or six different amp sims, God knows how many different like reverbs and stuff because I was using Eventide, Sound Toys. Uh, Brainworks, SSL for certain things. Uh, I, yeah, it was a it was a heavy list, and putting it all together was just like a nightmare. Uh, question: Do you have any tips for tuning chord progressions into riffs? Tuning, uh, you know, for me, um, if I if I understand your question um, correctly, chord progressions. Like for me, I I really like to. Um... <laughs> Tim's like, do you want to go out tonight? Um, I I can't go out tonight, Tim. I got a birthday invite after this. Going out for some food. Sorry, Tim. I wonder if he knows that we're live. I'll put that there as a reminder. When it comes to chord progressions and writing licks, I like to have like little me uh, melodies that run like intertwined. So like a little thing that I was jamming around with uh, recently was taking like a chord progression, like, like kind of real simple, like, um, say a D uh, to whatever here, and, and I was kind of doing it with melody first, like. And then E. So we've got this kind of D to E thing, but it's led with melody. So that's the sort of, the theme. It's a big stretch though. And then G. A. Drop down to G. You know, stuff like that. And when I um, wrote, you know, tracks like maybe Square Dreams, that has a similar approach where very much like working with that dissonance between the B and C note, but when you put in the rest of the harmonics, get kind of down to like A minor seven, then a B, an F. Was it E? Yeah. I can't remember. Oh yeah, it goes down to F. Uh, let me just swivel this camera a little bit that way. Yeah, so I like to have like little themes that run between them. You know, that really helps to settle. It's like almost like a question answer. So yeah. Uh, what was that queen? A clean, uh, the clean that I was just using, this one. It is a very, very nice clean. Uh, white limo, there we go. So if I turn the plug-in off, the McRocklin suite, this is how it sounds. 
<laughs> That's crazy. That's just the guitar input. Now turn it on. Yeah, white limo. Uh, your URL isn't working. Uh, what URL, Mark? Let me know and I will fix it. Oh, what is going on? Tell me. What URL is it? Get the tone. Oh, get the tone. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's fix it. Get the tone. Get the tone. Get the tone. We can't have nobody get the tone. Ah, oh, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? Um, okay. We're on YouTube. Studio. Uh, okay, content, live, in it, we're in the live. Let's have a look at the URL. Get the tone, polychrome DSP. Oh, new tab, paste the tab. Oh, are you guys able to see the polychrome site? Um, oh, okay, there's a space. Are you, is it on the pinned chat, is the space? Oh, uh, where is the space? Where's the space, mate? It's because there's a missing space between the URL and the lesson. The site is working now. Oh. Are you talking about the pin chat? Let me let me dive into the URL uh, and we'll have a look as well. See, see what is going on. Maybe it's a pin chat. I've done it. Like a noob. Okay. It works here for Atari Jams? Huh. Let me have a look. YouTube has been really weird today. Like, look at that. Like, it's just, you know, it's not a connection for me. Like, my connection's fine, but it's just like spinning round and round and round and round and round. It's the pinned comment. Okay. Ah. Okay. The description on the video should be all good then. If it's just the pinned comment, it just might be in me in a bit of a rush because. Yeah. Look at that though. Like literally just spinning around. Maybe I have to restart. I bet you all, you all are like, oh, he's using Safari, that's why. There's some things that really save me a lot of time in Safari, and that's just the fingerprints shit. YouTube seems slow for you too. Yeah, right? Okay. Let me um, pop up that chat, and I'll, I'll fix that so you guys can easily get to the, the site. And, what not? Uh, uh, oh, okay, I see the issue. Yeah, 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 I see. Thank you, guys. Um, let me delete that one and um, put a new one. Uh, so, uh, get the tones, get the tones. I'll put a dash in there. Okay, how's that look? Does that look, does that look better? Test. Look at that. Is that clickable now for you guys? I can't actually click it. You tell me. I can't even pin it. The YouTube's like absolutely wild now. It's working? Does it work for you, mate? Now I just gotta pin it. It'd be lovely, lovely if I could pin my own comment. Like, I literally can't. YouTube, YouTube. Okay. Now I will pin it. Replace pinned message. There we go. I'll give it that a shot, guys. Get the tones. Click get the tones. Are we fixed? Do we need another song to, to get over the...
guitar track, um, those kind of bluesy pentatonic sounds like this. <laughs> Those definitely don't work because the whole track, there's so much minor stuff going on. So um, a good way of getting out of stuff like that if you get stuck, not that I did it particularly well just there, but if you hit notes like this, and it's like way out of, like it just, it's not the right type of note for that type of song. You can always jump into like some chromatic stuff. Like so right here, you could like go all in on like four note chromatics. Like so if, let's say you hit this note but like, and you go, oh shit, that's a bad note. Then you bend the semitone up to get you back into a, a more neutral note, right? And then you just pull down, right? To get to the outside note, but then you continue with the, the um, descending with um, chromatic. So you go like this. And it's like, was that meant to be? Was that not meant to be? Disguising those notes that were not meant to be were like, ooh, not good notes. Chromatic uh, often can kind of bodge it up, you know? You get like the cement and you just kind of like, you know, fixing everything around it. <laughs> uh, I remember Vinnie Moore played licks like that, just slightly out, but would <laughs> chromatic come back in? Yeah, I like them. I like them. I like, I love chromatics. Like four, five note chromatics. Like if you're in pentatonic land, like here. <laughs> Like you could come out of that um, top G note. We're in C minor right now, C minor pentatonic. But you could drop down with like. And that sort of um, alternate picking on the lower. Uh, chromatics like that. That sounds really, really cool to me. I like that. Uh, but unfortunately, um, I dropped my pick. Uh, do I play any slide guitar? You know, I don't, but uh, I did have a couple of slides like back in the day, but no, I, I actually don't. Um, do you like, do I like alternate tunings? Um, sometimes, I don't actually tune any of my guitars to like alternate tuning. I did a bit of dad gab like way, way, way back in the day on my old acoustic, old Loudon acoustic, but not really. Um, I didn't even like do drop D. I just like put the whole guitars in tunings like C standard, B standard, or use the eight string. And um, I haven't really started using the eight string um, that much recently, but when I was doing some polychrome testing, there's definitely like lots of ideas that I've got using the eight string. So I will start to use that once we get out of this heavy period of <clears throat> testing. Ooh, slipping in diminished blues or even a major seven notes and quickly going back to minor scale gives a nice little break. Yeah, yeah, all those things really little flashes of something different really cool like that's why i love um i love mixing harmonic minor with diminished and chromatic because they all just gel so well together you know still top-notch solos thomas <laughs> thank you I, I feel really um that that's one thing like recently i've been jumping straight into live streams without playing the entire day and um the first couple of songs i feel so rough because like one thing I try not to do is I don't like to push my fingers really hard really early without warming up because I literally can feel like tendons getting really stressed. You know, I don't, I don't, I, I just, I feel like with how big I, like how big some of the licks are that I go for, if I go too early with, for some of those big, I could, I could stretch something and kind of pull something, not in a good way. Uh, what's a MIDI controller keyboard? That is um, a native instrument. It's just a little um, 32 controller. Nothing special. I don't, I don't actually use it a lot, but you know, if I just want to input something, it is pretty useful. Um, how about the pink guitar? Um, oh yeah, like the pink guitar is sitting down with it is pretty, pretty okay, but like it's very good standing up. The hyperdrive. Hey, did I see Pat here as well? A little Pat. Um, just like, um, like aggressive low bass lines, really. Like that was the idea. Like I was gonna 
replace almost like synth wave bass with the eighth string. So yeah. Hey Pat. Good afternoon, mate. Um, so just a quick recap, guys, for um, anyone want to dive in to the, the, the latest solo challenge. Um, so the idea is, is there's um, a kind of a feature lick that's the challenge part of it, but then there's all the space for you to improv in E minor, E pentatonic, go outside of the box, do whatever you like. And um, it's a good opportunity to just kind of get a new lick learned, but then to kind of just show us your personality. And then maybe at the end of the month or the beginning of next month, uh, we'll jump on a live stream, we'll check out some of the en entries. It's always like a fun time to do that. I really enjoy that. You get to see what everybody's doing. And don't overthink this because this might be like something that we do more often, you know, at least once a month. Maybe it'll be every two months. I'm, I'm not sure. But if you guys enjoy it, and I think you will, then, you know, it's, it's good to kind of challenge yourself and have fun. But at the same time, I don't want everyone or anyone to worry about, oh, um, I can't get my uncle over to video with his professional video camera. I really couldn't give two shits, really, about the production value. I, would, I just want to see smiles on faces, people trying the lick and going for it. You know, when you pick up your guitar, it's it's not like a, um, a sport and a competitive sport at that. It's all about having fun, right? And if, if you can get that lick kind of somewhat nailed and have some fun and eat pentatonic, then that's amazing. Get your phone out, selfie camera, camera audio, no problem. Just go for it, get the entry in. That's It's all about having fun. And don't overthink about it, overthink it. A lot of previous challenges, people went into meltdown because they were overthinking it. They were overthinking the entries, they were overthinking like the production and stuff. Just literally have fun with it. You know, spend a couple of days if you like going over the, the main lick and then have a blast over it. No problem. And um, yeah, Tony, Tony get the Kodak. Yeah, and shit, another, <laughs> another question came in after Chili's. Uh, another comment rather. Yeah, so super easy. Um, well, well, I would be too nervous. Why would you be nervous? Like, do you think seriously that I'm like one of these elitist guitar players that looks at someone that's been playing the guitar for three months and I snigger behind my back? That's absolute nonsense. That would never happen, you know? Who came, who came you know, we were all there, you know? Those kind of people that do that are fucking complete morons and idiots. And, you know, they shouldn't be appreciated or valued in any way. Really, if you've been playing like a year and you're a bit rough and you, you're, you're, you're not able to like get certain bends to happen or you can't really tap yet or whatever, then, you know, it's, it's, a, it's like a journey. It's a progression. And as long as you're enjoying it, enjoying it and having fun, that's all that matters, you know? It doesn't matter like the level. There's no elitists and stuff like that you know you join the discord and it's all it's all just vibes you know uh, you want to hear my clean tones Whew. all right so when i'm jamming around i like to have like two or three main main clean tones you know my first clean tone is always sparkly right You know, I love sparkly cleans, that's my thing. And obviously the Polychrome DSP suite does that really, really well. But the next type type of clean that I really like is just a little bit more aggressive, you know? That really kind of cuts through. It's got a lot of delay and reverb, but when I'm playing along to tracks, it works very well. And then a little bit more aggressive again. And then if I want like really, really dry. I'll have those kind of things. Hey, Guitar Lord, welcome from Greece. Hello. You know, aggressive dry tones. Thomas streams from space, no dust in a vacuum. <laughs> There's a lot of dust in here. I have my dust already. Um, so yeah, just so you guys know what exact presets those are. Um, first one, um, if we go back to my main clean that I use all the time recently, the white limo one. I have another version of that, like after, called Afterglow, if I want something a little bit more special. Remember, 
This is how the guitar sounds without the plug-in on. This is one plug-in. I mean, you can barely hear it. That's how the guitar sounds without that single plug-in. Anyway, um, the dry tones that I like... Uh, sorry, uh, here. Oh, thank you, Sean. Crackhead clean. So those are like, you know, some of the cleans that's like in my arsenal. Right in my arsenal. Uh, hey, good morning from West Coast. Sean plays guitar from one Sean to another. Yeah. Um, you know what, Sean, though, just speaking uh, of, of the room and stuff, I feel like, um, this yeah, thank you, mate. Since I've cleared out even more stuff, um, I feel like it's easier to just get nicer shots. Not just for like the stream stuff, but other stuff. So yeah, we, all, we, only, <laughs> we only sneak that right in your house. <laughs> Everything goes right in my house, not me. <laughs> Yeah, I love the cleans, like, with the 80s sort of style stuff. Yeah, I love big chorus. Big stereo choruses on cleans with a bit of compression. It's always a good one. The white limo, it's almost like a bridge of a six-string bass. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, um, E standard. E standard. E standard, so... Uh, this guitar is, is tuned to standard. Yeah, it's, it's just an E. Concert pitch. <laughs> Can you imagine? You just replace <laughs> replace much with a light. Um, all right, let me pause the track. For you, sir, you guys that just joined and like, what, what's this solo challenge shit on about? What's he talking about? He's not talking about the solo challenge. Let me show you the trailer from School of McRock, and remember, you can take a 14-day free trial. Full membership is probably less than you would pay your local guitarist, and you get a guitar lesson every week. You get live masterclasses. Someone asked, is, is there a masterclass tomorrow? Yes, there is a masterclass tomorrow, and maybe we can focus on the, the nitty-gritty of nailing the lick in the solo challenge and more. So you get masterclasses, all the backing tracks, a lesson every week, a huge backing uh, back catalog of lessons, effectively all of the courses that I've ever released, and it's less than the price of a single lesson, I bet, with your local guitarist for a full year. Anyway, here's a little trailer um, from the, lo the latest lesson explaining a bit about the solo challenge, so if you want to get involved, you can do that. Why not? Hey, what's up? It's Thomas, and welcome back to a School of McRock lesson like none other, because this is the launch of the Locked In Solo Challenge. On this lesson, I'm going to break down the lick that needs to be featured as part of your solo. And it's a big lick, it's a big stretchy lick, it's got sweeping, it's got sliding, it's got hammer-ons, position shifts, the whole nine yards. So I'm going to break that lick down in its entirety. That's going to give you the advantage when it comes to your solo entry. Now there's also plenty of space for you to jam and to improvise over this back and track to really show me your personality as a guitarist. So this is the Locked In Solo Challenge and it begins right now. I'll see you on the inside. Let's go. There we go, so schoolofmcgrog.com, if you want to get involved, get yourself a free trial. Um, make sure you join the Discord because that's where you enter your entries. Um, and it doesn't need to be like a public video. If you don't feel comfortable with that, you can just use an, un, an unlisted YouTube video. Super easy. I guess you could also upload your video directly to the Discord as well. So, uh, you know, a few ways is, is w that you can enter. But you know what? If you have any questions or any worries, you just ask me or the guys. We're all there. We're there for you. Um, anyone tried the Ibanez Quest with stainless steel? Um, I have not. 
I, I didn't mind the quest. It felt a little bit like I could snap it quite easily, but overall it felt a comfortable model. Have they added a trem yet? Have they added a trem? If they haven't added a trem to that series, surely they are missing out, right? They have to be. They have to be missing out. Like, can you imagine how many guitarists, like, maybe would get an Ibanez headless if it had a trim. But, uh, there we go. Um, Thomas, what is your go-to distorted tone? Um, I I've been using the same one for the last couple of weeks. I, I really, really like this one. I'll show, you, I'll show you all of my distorted tones. The rhythm stuff. Ah. Uh, any advice on making modern, uh, uh, making modern, yeah, close to classic metal sound and extreme rollers like NBM? What pedals would, oh, okay. Um, well, this might help because when it comes to like modern metal, the one thing is that you want is a lot of the bottom end filtered out. So stacking two drives in front of each other, I find is a really, really good way of doing that. Let's have a quick peek because some of these presets actually might already do that. So on the second page of the plugin is the overdrives, and exactly that, you can see that. So this one is using a lot of tight, using a lot of gain, but the second drive is basically pulled down a lot, right? So it's kind of like pushing and pulling. And what happens is, is if we turn those drives off. So this one has been used to really add that sort of the sort of attack, and this one has been used more of a kind of general purpose drive. My other dry distortion is... Now you can hear how those have the same overdrives and similar settings, but listen to the difference. So this goes to show you like just how powerful the speaker section is because it's changing the speakers there when I change presets, but also uh, the EQ settings as well, right? So it's really a good idea to get used to like the different sounding speakers and get really familiar with the EQ. There's an eight band as well as a four band. But yeah, um, so stacking drives is a great thing. My third drive is like this one. <laughs> which is using the new phaser and wide mode, but also synth -oct. Uh I, I always use the, the door, yeah, uh, good. I always use Ableton. I very rarely use standalone uh, versions of plugins and stuff because everything I do, I like the delay to be synced in with the track and stuff like that, so. Yeah, I, I pretty much always use the, I use Ableton. I pre-ordered the next version of Ableton, but yeah. Going back to Arthur's question on um, like my default lead sounds and stuff. So this is Let It Rip Son. With a wah. Doing a wow with your left foot is not natural at all. It's like driving and doing left foot braking. I never realized just how um, <laughs> how weird doing a wow with your left foot is. That's um, yeah, that's an unusual feeling. That hey, no problem, Nick. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely try different speaker combinations. Then uh, the second drive tone that I like is uh, Liquid Lead. That's a classic. <laughs> this a lot recently so in the solo challenge that's what I'm using the the red leather but the thing is is with the the suite has like 500 plus tones and a lot of them are really really amazing drive tones so it's, it's a difficult one uh, how is it possible that this plugin received more updates than some of the big company plugins that is so awesome <laughs> yeah yeah we, we've done like five or six <laughs> updates in less than a year <laughs> <laughs> Hi from Kusadasi. Is that where you're from? Oh, that's amazing. Where is Kusadasi again? I've been there, I'm sure. Have, I have been there, right? 
I'm 99% sure I've been there on a holiday. Everything just goes fuzzy on live streams because I'm like thinking about a, a million things. Um, any controller works with the Ableton Polychrome DSP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like anything that sends CC numbers, program change numbers, it will work. Yeah, it's in Turkey. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what? D did I meet you there? Or did you see a? Did you see an Instagram story? Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> You never know um, on iP iOS, you never know. Yeah, I, I think with Neural, they, 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 like, they have a different approach. They're very, um, you know, they have their, their ways. I, I'm not gonna get into <clears throat> the business side of things, but you know, everyone's different. And I guess they're a different size company as well with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of employees and people on the board to feed. <laughs> Lots of bigger decision makers. We didn't meet. Yeah, I met some people there, and it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, but Kusadasi was lovely. It was lovely. Yeah, and and you had been there. I was just like, have I been there? It's like, surely you have. Yes, I have a memory of like a, a fish, a fish sometimes. Um, let's play a happy track. Oh, by the way. Um, if you want to be a channel member, if you're not a School McRock member, I would personally just try School McRock like a free trial and then get involved with the, the Discord and the, the solo challenge. But what we will do is open it up to YouTube channel members as well. So in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. So you can either be a School McRock member or a YouTube channel member. And the, the main difference is, is obviously YouTube is more behind the scenes content. School McRock is solely lessons and lots of lots and lots of lessons you know but also um uh no no polychrome door <laughs> no we don't want to get into that that would be a nightmare um but um but the most important thing is both of them school of McGrock, school of McGrock or youtube will give you access to the discord right the full discord which is where all of the other stuff yeah anthony hello <laughs> Yeah. How about a Polychrome DSP wristwatch? Can you imagine? Yeah, let's play a happy track. One of them is always happy. string I've got a sharp B string what were we, what, what were we doing in that last track I'm all sharp there we go put a little bit of synth on there as well let's go
funny, man. I accidentally just whacked a transposer on myself and uh, gave myself a, a little bit of a filtering, but also... <laughs> Oh, that was a terrible, that was a six out of 10 performance if there ever was one. There was mistakes, there was wrong tones, there was, there was nonsense. The axe, thank you, mate. But you know, that's live streaming when you're carbed out. I'm on a little bit lower carbs. I've dropped all of the sugar out of my diet. Well, in comparison to a week ago, I'm on about 80% less sugar, a lot less sugar. You painted a happy mistake. Thank you, I'll, I'll take that. So yeah, I can feel like being on lower carbs, lower, 100%, like a lot less sugar. And I feel the carbs. I feel the, the lack of carbs. Oh, it's all right. All the more reason for no one to be nervous about entering the challenge. Everyone makes mistakes, 100%. But what do you do? You laugh. It's only guitar. The guitar is made to make fun of us in some ways. Paul, thank you. <laughs> ah, where's my mouse? I've seen your videos of the Black Star. Department 10, dual distortion has sounded amazing. I wonder how other reviews on YouTube make it sound like a complete disaster. <sighs> you know, like running, this is somewhat why I stopped doing reviews like that because it's um, overdrives in particular, in particular can be like if you use them so gently and use them with like certain amps, you can kind of get away with a lot. But I, I always just think like it's best to get your hands on the gear itself. By the way, is the background music, it sounds like the background music is loud in here, but I don't know if it is for you guys. But yeah, get, get your hands on the gear itself. Yeah, sugar and carbs together, like, yeah, is, is for sure. It's like, you can just feel like your body, what the fuck, I'm like scrolling across like all the mouses, all the screens, yeah. Um, yeah, it is definitely like, you, you can feel the difference. Like, you know, when you're just having those drops and usually you would just go have something slightly sugary. I mean, I don't eat like, you know, like a big bar of chocolate. You know, I'd have like one square of chocolate usually, but just like the difference of not doing that and doing that, you can totally feel it in your like your legs and stuff, you know? But um, but yeah, I wouldn't say I'm like carb free because, you know, I, ha I had sweet potato fries with my dinner last night and I had like muesli for, for breakfast with like yogurt and stuff, so. Yeah, there, there's definitely a bunch of carbs getting in there, but it's just not like terrible carbs, like, unless it's Friday or Saturday night, <laughs> and then it's kebab night, then, <laughs> thank you, mate, you know. Oh, make coffee, caffeine and coffee, like trying to quit that is very, very difficult. Very difficult, yeah. Yeah, I, I pff, once a year, I do go for like, for about 30 days or so without coffee, in the first week, whew, but I kind of ease myself off it though. Like I'll do like one week with just like only tea and then bang, it's full, full, no coffee for a while. I can totally quit carbs or sugar anytime I want. <laughs> just maybe not to <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I like, I, I only do it for like once a year just to kind of appreciate it more almost. You know, when I, when I go back, when I have that first cup of coffee after a month off it, it's amazing. It is like, wow. wow. It's, it's unreal. Having a coffee right now. Oh, nice. What kind of coffee is it? I have, I use a, an AeroPress usually. I love the AeroPress. I had like E61 group head espresso machines. I've still got a really good grinder from when I had that, uh, an espresso machine. But, uh, but now I'm like AeroPress. AeroPress. No, you've never been a coffee man. Maybe you never had a good coffee. That's what it is, mate. Uh, oh, okay. Dance with the Dead. Yeah. Yeah, great band. It's not fancy. Just pick me up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Sometimes that's all you need. 
Oh yeah, I, like 15, 20 years ago, I probably tried that. <laughs> yeah, and, and I remember, I remember the headaches from like just eating all the, the fat stuff, but no carbs at all. Yeah, kind of surreal, like having sausages for dinner. Can't be the best thing for you, but yeah, I guess it tricks that body or your body into like using other sources of energy. Never used to give up stuff. Nine years vegan. Oh, nice. Yeah. What what made you take the um, the plunge, mate, and just jump into it? What was the 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 deciding decision? Uh, yeah, I mean, for me, coffee and tea doesn't really affect my um, like sleeping too much. Like I can have like a tea and coffee at ten o'clock, and I'll, I'll still go to bed at midnight, no problem. Give me a booze lick. Let's get some low gain tones on then. Um, how about something like that? Uh, do you remember? <laughs> used to do like a. Did anyone play around with this kind of uh, manual slap? back thing so you have like a sound like this right does that make sense and you do a manual like slap back so you could do with like chords <laughs> you know like a, a, it's a silly trick it's a silly effect but it just sound like a little bit of a delay Yeah, anyway. Uh, these are 9 and 42s. 9 and 42s. Oh, yeah. Does I, uh, okay, does anyone know this? I only know a little bit of the solo, but does anyone recognize it? Something like that. Something like that. I got, does anybody know that one? It's been so long since I've heard that track. But I remember the, this, uh, the little part. Ah, such a happy little lick. I love that tone they play now. Yeah, that's um, Big AC. Big AC, I believe. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, there it is. Better if you're in tune, though. Yeah, the sale is back on. Get 20% off. Look at that. Chili. Yes. It's not. It's not. It was. De it was deleted, mate. It's been enabled for one hour. One hour. Uh, do, uh, do you get a Holdsworth tone? Uh, I don't know how we get a Holdsworth tone. Yeah. Um, you love with oh mate, thank you, Rob Ashley. What a lovely comment, mate. That was very nice of you, mate. <laughs> Chet Atkins diet. <laughs> okay, um, okay. Um, so it was fragile. How? Oh, yeah. Sometimes the best things are in life, or um, or unexpected. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's a gate sent to on the liquid lead preset? Mine's seventy five. Ooh. Okay, you have 75%. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're on 70% oh, what? 75% gate. This is going to be interesting because this will tell us if you have your input set too loud and you've ruined all of your polychrome presets because you've got too much gain. If I go in my gates on like less than half, then you are in trouble. <laughs> Big trouble. Big trouble. All right. Um... We're on the liquid lead preset now. Oh yes, you're not in big trouble. Look at that. Yeah, because it's it's the thing is with this preset is look, it's got big time compression. It's got double overdrives. It's got the the gate gate on max. Okay. <laughs> now if I turn that gate off. Whoa! 
That's a smoking amount of gain. That's a lot, but listen how well that gate works on liquid lead. Look at that, 78% gate. So we got full distortion, two overdrive pedals. And do you hear it? Do you hear it? And when I turn the volume up, look at that. Full volume right now, full volume. And since I play, Look at that. Didn't even turn the volume down. And that's with max gain, loads of compression, and two overdrive pedals really smashing it out. That's how well the gate works in the Polychrome DSP McRocklin Suite. We've got a light out, guys. Whilst we're doing a little check here on this um, solo entry, I'm gonna um, fix the light because, um, well, I left it plugged in last night and I do like these batteries, like they do work very well, but uh, like anything, I didn't realize that you need to actually uh, unplug the wire from them. So I shall plug them back in in the corner, otherwise they'll be in the dark. Um, check out the solo entry. Hey, what's up? It's Thomas and welcome back to a School of McRock lesson like none other, because this is the launch of the Locked In Solo Challenge. On this lesson, I'm gonna break down the lick that needs to be featured as part of your solo. And it's a big lick, it's a big stretchy lick, it's got sweeping, it's got sliding, it's got hammer-ons, position shifts, the whole nine yards. So I'm gonna break that lick down in its entirety. That's gonna give you the advantage when it comes to your solo entry. Now there's also plenty of space for you to jam and to improvise over this back and track to really show me your personality as a guitarist. So this is the Locked In Solo Challenge and it begins right now. I'll see you on the inside. Let's go. I'll see you on the inside. That's what, that's what the line is. I'll see you on the inside, mate. Do you like the um, outro line uh, of the School of McGrock? Oh, 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 we got, we got 20 coming in from Big Rad Brad. Hey, you give me that leg day. You, you going for leg day, Rad Brad? Are you actually, are you, are you? Are you telling me to have leg day? Because I, I've got to be honest, like my leg days have been not as frequent as my upper body days, you know, but anything for Rad Brad. Thank you, mate.
hit this motherfucker. <laughs>
for Rad Brad for the 20. <laughs> what a legend. Good to see Luca back up in here as well. Whew. That was a jam session, if there ever was one. Whew, and I'm hot. Surely there's, there's, there's radiators on in here because it is warm. No radiators, that's just the heat. I'm at, what's up? Whew, now I feel warmed up. There it is, the old lady. I know, I thought I'd throw it in there for you, Arthur. Remember as well, all those tones from Polychrome, DSP, McRocklin Suite, a single plugin, and we've just enabled the 20% discount. So you can go right now to polychromedsp.com and grab yourself all of those sounds, plus hundreds of others, all in an easy to use plugin. CPU, nice and low. Not gonna get your CPU all toasty. Latency, the fastest available anywhere in the world. 0, 0.0 is what we roll at. Very, 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 very fast. There you go. Polychromejsp.com. Ah, uh, we got another update coming. I don't know. Walls working non-stop. Apart from Luca sleeping, watching football. I'm sitting here working. <laughs> I'm working the pedal board! I'm working the tones! <laughs> Luca's sitting in the office! Doing six foot of cocaine from one end of the office to the other! I'm joking. We don't do drugs or drink. You don't eat kebabs. Shit, that jam got me absolutely fucking hyped, guys. Shit, how long was I out for? I feel like, I feel like I've, I've been in another dimension. Whew, I feel hot. Do I look hot? Oh my god. Go Newcastle! Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a um, yeah, there's a football match on today. I, I I didn't even watch it, and I'm in Newcastle. Oh, weekend off, mate. Oh, eighth year anniversary. Oh, look at that. Is that seriously eight year anniversary, mate? I've got to say, like, you've got some catching up. <laughs> Just seen. At my 25th anniversary, <laughs> I got married so young. Ah, I got married very young. But you know, when you find the right lady. 
That's it. You gotta trap her into a long-term contract, right? Here we go. Yeah, super motocross tonight, yes. You like that? Yes. You know what? We'll play one more track before we get out of here. What time is it? Oh, it's, yeah, it's nearly time to go and uh, eat. I'm gonna play one more track, okay? And since it's uh, Captain's uh, big, big, big anniversary here, let's all hear, let's all, what, what's the most romantic emojis that we can put in the chat or emotes or emojis in the chat? Play rude. Now, I got something soft and gentle for you, mate. I got something to, you know, to sit and hold hands to. I, I'm not going to play rude and put you out on the spot like that. I would do that to you, Luca. Now, I, I, I want to be the guy sitting in the corner playing the guitar and you're sitting on the couch, lovingly looking into each other's eyes. There we go. You guys are filling the chat up with emotes. Hey, let's see if we can get over 100. Thumbs up for the live. What the hell, you guys? Oh, we're slacking on the thumbs up. What happened? I thought, we were, I thought we were friends. You gotta, you gotta do me like that. Nobody, nobody giving thumbs up on the the video. Oh, making me so upset. Uh, that's tears. I'm gonna play you soft and gentle song. I haven't played this one in a while, but um, I'm telling you guys, you're gonna cry. You're gonna, you're gonna cry a lot. Sorry, but, but Luca's gonna have a, if I can find it, the time of his life, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> If I find the right track. Ooh, I always struggle to find the right track, though. <laughs> Here's the right track! Actually, I wasn't looking for this one, so maybe we'll do this one. <laughs> it's a love is a rainbow ah, with Hutch singing. And then after this one, I'm going to play one last track, the romantic track. This is going to be the, the track. Um, oh, thank you guys. The, the thumbs up are coming. I'm feeling, I'm feeling less depressed now.
there we go. Look at that is um, not the song that I was actually going to dedicate it to your wedding, but then I, I felt um, that my hands were getting very, very strained during the very, very fast lick, and I've decided that that will be the last notes of today. Time to have kebabs, ladies and gentlemen. But hey, if you want to get involved in the next solo challenge and you're like, oh, I don't know if I do, but I want to know more, then I guess the easiest place to find out more is join the Discord. Just, I mean, it's a free channel there. Ask. And then, and then see how we feel. You know, you might be like, oh, I, you might be like, oh no, I can, I can do this. I can do this. Cause you know what? You should do it. Why not? Why not? It's all about having fun. And just remember, you can scroll, scroll back this live stream and see some horrendous mistakes by me. And that's the worst that can happen. Yeah. This is how you live stream. I don't know about that, but I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll take your compliment, mate. Guys, definitely go and check out Steve's channel, Steve Cassidy Guitar. Click on his profile, give him a sub, streams, but also got a lot of really, really cool content. And he's from, oh, you're from Dundee, right? Dundee! There you go, check him out. Um, rest that fretting hand, mate. I know, I knew, I knew, I need to, yeah. Uh, when do you have to submit by? Or when do we have to submit by? Uh, end of the month. End of the month, yeah. I'll, I'll put more official details on the Discord as it progresses. It's actually just technically announced on School of McGraw right now, but I wanted to jump on a live stream just to let you guys know. Um, so right now on School of McGraw, you can download the backing track. Um, later today or tomorrow morning, I will put the backing track also um, on Discord as well. So you guys can download the, um, the backing track. Ah, of course, no problem, Steve. And, um, yeah, and, you know, like I say, it's all about just having fun. Don't overthink it. Like, there's one feature lick to learn, um, which is only, like, two bars. And then the rest of it is just for you to jam around with in E minor, E minor pentatonic. Very easy key to jam around with. You know, don't overthink it. Get your mate or, or selfie cam. It's all it needs to be. If you have cameras and direct audio and you're synced up and you've got your polychrome plug-in rocking, then that's amazing. But, um, you know, submit something, even if it's just on a mobile. It's all about participating, having fun. And then if everyone enjoys it, we'll do it, you know, quite frequently. And then early February, we'll um, do a live stream. We'll play some or all of the entries. Have a cup of tea, have a cup of coffee. It'll be a blast. It'll be a lovely time. Um, so speaking of a lovely time, I'm going to go have a lovely lovely time with a lovely kebab. I'm sorry, there will be chicken in it, Steve. There will be chicken in it. But uh, yeah, it's been a... Uh, yeah, I was I was only expecting the stream for a little while today. What what, what were we on? Look, I'm, I'm red. <sighs> Feeling hyped. Yeah. Um, oh, we've been streamed for an hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, troll, no problem, mate. Thank you. Good to see everyone. Um... So, yeah, 20% is back on, on uh, the plugin. So, if you want to grab that, uh, polygramdsp.com, uh, use the discount code there. Um, and uh, yeah, take a free trial, School of McGraw. Or if you're like, I don't want guitar lessons, but I want to participate, then there's a link down uh, in the description where you can become a channel member for YouTube. It's, it's just whatever works for you. Luca, have a lovely weekend, mate. Sean, great to see you. And um, yeah, everyone else. Beautiful. You know what I'm gonna do? Um, if I have an end screen, I'm gonna add all of your chat. So you can spam the chat hard and fast. Yes, sounds like a great plan to me. Spam it all hard and fast. But do I have an end screen? Because I'm not a professional streamer anymore, guys. I don't know. Oh, I do, I do. So I'm gonna hit the end screen, and I'm gonna turn up the music, and then you can all spam the chat, and I'll add all of your chat all over the screen. It'll be like a, a chat firework display. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you back here real soon.